Gray. I remember the last time we had an uh, an interview. Uh, you were not in the country. You were not in Zambia. That yeah. was a phone call interview. You were telling us about the plans that you have and other stuff right there. But you can also get to tell us some few information just in case someone missed out on that interview uh, about happiness. Yeah. Uh, so basically, um, 2014, I mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. that's when we left Zambia, went to Russia to pursue a master mm -hmm. in science and pharmacy. That was like a six-year program. So we graduated like barely two months ago, mm -hmm. August, my area is Mdiamuin. Mm -hmm. They want to come back. Then around the quarantine time, Padam Mama Chani, to Ale pushing a kwa 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 We started the episodes of which yeah, most of the people now know us by the title the happiness ambassador. Mm -hmm. But before then, the happiness ambassador title wasn't mm -hmm. even there. So how many years are we talking about you being in Russia? Uh, six years. Six years. Yes. Yeah, accent. How did it all start? Uh, your first book and uh, your ideas, you being creative and uh, the feedback. How did all everything start? Okay. Um, I'll be honest. There was this day, you know, the quarantine where you're not going to the hospital. Everything mm. is on lockdown. You're just in your room. So, I was on my table, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, where you're listening to beats, and then I got to enjoy this beat, and I had to get in touch with the owner of the beat, the instrumental. Mm -hmm. The guy is young OG from Swaziland. So, after that, I wrote something 39 seconds. I still remember vividly everything. Mm -hmm. I wrote something in the range of 39 seconds. By then, I just posted on the personal account, Facebook. And then I, I could read some comments. People are like, no, this should have gone on. This should have gone on. This should have gone on. So I said, I was like, oh, well, since we're looking at the, the demand out there. So what happened is I wrote again. I put it like the episode two. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first episode didn't even have the episode one caption in it. Mm -hmm. It was just more like a video. And then after I saw the demand and everything, we put out episode two. Mm -hmm. The interaction, you know, got grain and everything. Until we got to episode six. I realized like uh, uh, the family just like grew bigger. Mm -hmm. Then there was this page that uh, I said, uh, but it was like inactive. It was just no man. There was, it was like nothing was happening there. So I realized we said the family is growing day by day. So we need to revive that page. So what I did on a Friday, I posted all six episodes mm -hmm. on that page. And then seven, the seventh episode was supposed to start from the happiness ambassador page. Mm -hmm. And then from there, if you have my fish catching, I've been to Nasana. But have you actually this step before my ear to Russia? How were you managing the two, uh, making sure that everything has its own time at its own? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, quite a bit of idea in the concern. But how did you manage? <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, my, I yeah. think those those times where you've assured people an episode. And then at times I would regret to say, ah, why did I promise these people an episode? Because they're looking at the pressure and, you know, being in final year of med school mm -hmm. and uh, you've got exams coming and uh, you've got the episodes people anticipating to say every Saturday we're supposed to have episodes and everything. Mm -hmm. And then there'll, there'll be times where an episode, you start working on it on a Thursday mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be aired on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. you find that the effort that goes into episodes, people, you know, you just put up an episode and the first comment someone who come to is looking forward to the next episode. That also gives pressure on me to say, damn, people are already looking forward to another episode of which you look at the work that you put in in this previous episode that you just aired. Like the work was too much. Mm -hmm. So it happened to say there'll be times where I'll just go mute mm -hmm. and maybe we skip one Saturday and then I'll just... When I was having my final exams, I didn't announce to say I'm having my final exams. Starting from episode seven, eight, those times I was having final exams. But I didn't announce. I just came to announce after everything. Nobody ever finna confirm that not graduate. Mm -hmm. After the final paper, that's when we came through to say we were inactive because to our paper And then mm -hmm. after that, we just showed up with uh, the episodes. So the management part was, if you see to say, I can't manage at this point the episodes and school. It's better first you deal with what you went to Russia for first, then the episodes can come through later. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we got to interact with Alon Dorelia in the paper page and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So, so tell, tell, tell us as well, I'm pretty sure someone out there who has, who has been following your work, they would like also to find out how has been your growing up? You know, I'm asking this question in line with uh, <laughs> how well you know about so much. 
Mm. And uh, you know, you just don't come, you just don't become, but there's always something that made you to become who you are. Yeah, in, yeah, in regard yeah. with what you've been doing on social media, is it that you grew up more with uh, people who are older than you, so that they tell your story, or maybe you grew up from the village? You know, there's so many questions I've been asking. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> but maybe, what's your story in your growing up? Uh, okay, by growing up, um, hmm. uh, I didn't really grow up in uh, first an environment. last <laughs> I was actually born somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I was born in uh, Fiwale, somewhere Mama said That's mm -hmm. on the Copper Belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually, Capri, ka, ka history, ka, 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 G7 Then uh, grade eight, uh, Saint Clements. That's like Mansa. Then uh, ten to twelve, Taripadike. Then God willing to Asahan, to offer to Ingire na Parasha. So growing up, okay, I've never really had uh, friends who are like uh, my level ya kwaipe. Kusa ngwa vati, kusa ngwa na ba kala mbasha nshan nshan nshan. Yeah, yeah. So it's more like uh, ma kula kote my life experiences. Idi ainefe ya kwaipe. Wakula kofe wangu charo fe chakusenda kofe la wimvya life you get to you know even grow like uh, too wise for your age let let me just put it in those lines mm -hmm. so yeah I've had that privilege where you get to grow up with people who are older than you in different eras and fields and then yeah yeah kwa fe tika growth kadi mm -hmm. what 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 is an untold story about happiness ambassador something that you have never told anybody but you decided <laughs> to keep it to yourself but on joy fm want to unleash that truth uh, we can find out about that what is the untold I story i think people are yet to know something mm -hmm. uh i love politics okay i love politics but <laughs> last <laughs> last okay. okay i love politics but then this is something i just it's a topic i derive from like a page because sometimes we don't have a flesh you know what i mean people mm -hmm. are talking about politics mm -hmm. yeah but then you're just in the background and everything where you can you know you just like pretend as if you know nothing but i love politics mm -hmm. and um in my growing up uh i've always had that business-minded person mm -hmm. I don't even maybe in the near future ya kwa vyatle sa kupala kwa panga kutu ndalama it won't be like uh, I've got wealth for show off mm -hmm. it will be more like uh, you want to empower someone down there mm -hmm. you all should be for someone out there not just for status uh, happiness ambassador panga man and everything mm -hmm. at the end of the day the vision the mm -hmm. happiness ambassador vision is not not just about you know the music and the episodes itself mm -hmm. the vision is actually bigger than it seems currently need a vision ya kwa fiat one at some point ya kwa fiat ngatwa fina kwa fiat you know who have time with the awesome kids be that orphanage ya kwa fiat you know we spread positive vibes you know you are restoring hope to someone mm -hmm. that's the core vision of being a happiness ambassador mm -hmm. so te kwa fiat dim be to acha music to acha kuna fina fina no 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 so yeah, so your imprevision, this is something that I'm sharing for the first time that mm -hmm. people eventually would get to know along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then maybe the political ambitions would come through. If I was given an, a privilege to say, um, lead Zambia maybe at a larger scale and everything, I'm given that opportunity. I'll mm -hmm. gladly take it. Okay. Interesting, it. interesting. Yeah. So just in case someone's locked on right now, I was just going through your YouTube channel as you were answering to the question. And I'm checking out someone is doing amazing work. Uh, just uh, the subscribers, about 3.92K. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> Sula, I don't know if you're already getting paid for, for, for the amazing work. I think work I've been monetized it yet. I yeah. think uh, I was just waiting, like, uh, the watch hours have to get to a 4,000. Mm -hmm. So we're almost uh, a 1,000 left. And yeah, we'll monetize it and mm. we'll start okay. getting paid. So yeah. let's throw it back. Can we play episode two? Just to get yeah, people yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. of what yeah. I'm talking about right here. Let's do this. <laughs> After I started the calendar, but I got Naima. Short time in Kanama cheek. The confidence in Gatayari. Knock knock twice in Amakizi. Left hand pizza and Ama wins. Bani Navafu man a temper. Navala sana zafu jumper. Young man, mind the way you knock. What do you want to learn the talk? In a composure, ya Lubana. Now switching a deep loco. Why can you my own? I'm sorry, Ngana Lufiania. Here to visit Umkashana. Meta Milo yesterday. Men no harm on the day. 
Gia to Renda na Apology. Next question na Twitch of them on Jevele. Mmm, Yako Sapa. Then complexion na Kadimpo. Bevele no, Tepwe Kala. How? After Nashta Oda Kaulendo, Nashta Pizza na Mawins, after Nawina Kobola Bet. I step away, Kala. Ah, I think so I entered this gate yesterday. Episode 3. Ah, come in. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, I would like to find out something. Uh, when you were writing the first episode, now, uh, did you like figure it out saying, okay, you're going to be re- reaching as far as, which episode? Episode, episode well, one? Well, 18. 18 now. Were you expecting yourself saying, okay, we are going to reach up to episode 18? No, 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 no. no. I'll be honest. And uh, even getting to episode 4 or 5, mm-hmm. uh, wasn't something that's been easy. I remember when we got to episode 7. Mm-hmm. At that point, I just wanted to say, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. fellow ambassadors, <laughs> landlords and tenants, castor can up again. But do you sometimes uh, run out of ideas uh, when you are writing? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day, people still expect a lot. Uh, I'll be honest, episode seven, seven, yeah, episode seven, I struggled. Yeah. That's why it's my favorite too. Now, uh-huh. episode seven is my favorite. I think this morning I was actually playing it uh-huh. uh, because uh, the the effort and the struggle that I went through to mm-hmm. just you know put it. It's not easy, like you know. Uh, putting up something mm-hmm. and you give it to people and get, they get to enjoy it as as, as they've been enjoying the episodes. Mm-hmm. There's some good effort, some good uh, creativity to say that goes into every week. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there have been times you have a child, but then you just see it and then everything just unfolds. Mm-hmm. But I didn't honestly think that we get to episode 18. Okay. So let's get to find out. Let's get to play this one right here. Your episode uh, seven. seven. Get to find yeah. out why it's your favorite, right? Uh, right, your favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, dead night tapabu kaya. Um guys na dim sofa go come to send them to me now or quiz and push and they could in the shop. Taxi driver na fika. Evele boss them for two malaria. Jevele ladies in got to lay. Um guys it alum for la casana. We pick our time traffic is so short to cut him muka water. Besti wa kwe mwali shala and jevela le boy vika kwe futa. Umwa na wabe ne wai lapa. Wani na wadi shapo sana. 21 o misticose elo plus e bari kwata pipi ne finku bala tala te kapo holo esa pa ya ba mudala na ba bwela from solwezi for the weekend monday ni shibaya umugai zinani antawane iti ne futa emwa biki lako njebele mune tudina na kateka mwenshe wino muntu sana inyensha chef ye ya kutuma njebela o boy parking anjenshi it's a back seat to his soko. In the meantime, Jinja Makunuma. Driver na sanka passenger. Stroke patient he wanda pa. Ne jacket he ni mfula. Jevela ni fimba na kopa nono. Gemfwa fe monga ni hero. Muli moving shot ambapo. Kanshu mukasha na na pangwa imwe small knife he kana kumati. Jevela O M G. You're such a brother's keeper, and I just love the way you shift those gears. He's feeling what he's feeling. I had to do what I had to do. And it is what it is. In a blink, he had in South Africa. Real quick, ninja killer and a festi. Natoya, Queen, you miss Wheeler. Evelam, one do the child, man. Jevela, Chende, Kupani, Junko. No Kutampa, Shila, Tampa. Nageti, Yabo, you miss Wheeler. Him with Tuakuman and in Kadamu. Umufia Shuma, Miale, Lolila. Now, poor someone at Yoku time. Adeshete, La Ponim, Balala. Now, Fana Chess, Principal, Movili. Evelef, your cheat and Shilip. Come in, you let you know to our me. Check your time on Inshitanch. Go back here, go a fuma. Man in a munganda baumfwa. Nichitenge bakaka. Now bamukan sula ya bidi. We can't jump and shana bibi. Umukashana speed the munganda. Now we gion say a shada. To a shada fenumba batatu. Father tampani chitonga. Musangwa henandi weni. Jevedeni ne taxi driver wakwe. Mwere le komweba fiashi. Ni traffic ya chilenga, wani nechi so banjubukisha. 
He was a low taxi driver. Now last time we were worried, she did. Chapwa in a one jikata. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, um, fear show for one but young man, never, never ever should I see you, pan. For now, for Moksanga driver, now. Would you quit, say, you wear jacket, the andy, shiny transport, at boys in the Kuchpata, and much cocoa, and Mukatin, she don't for we know him. Munga and Danim, they were never driver. Nalaya kuisa phone ili pati upesent Ah, episode 8 <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my yeah. So the other last time that we had the talk on phone uh, One of uh, your people that have, uh, they have been following what you've been doing uh, yeah. Someone said Why can't this guy be given a TV show? Maybe on Zambezi or any other local uh, TV stations right here I feel like this is worth it to be on TV You need to be paid a lot of money at the end of the day Because yeah. the first time I watched it uh, the first thing that came into my mind was uh, if you are I don't know. Some of us grew up listening yeah. to such, where you listen to stories that are happening. Uh, <laughs> and I saw someone who's doing something almost similar but different. And uh, as, 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 as a youth, because like I said, I'm just not saying it right now, you, you know, there's uh, a lot of youths who are doing almost the similar thing, the same thing, yeah. but you just decided to come different. Have you tried to approach any TV stations, maybe with uh, your work? Not yet. Mm. Uh, I was actually thinking, Paripo comment to my wife, uh, it did I did time because mm. <laughs> so, so I was like, uh, I think uh, there are times like uh, people would be like, she went out, I'm gonna put a wire, I'm gonna episode and everything. So it's like people visualize everything that's happening. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, if you maybe create maybe a movie. So uh, lately, I've been thinking of approaching some base magic, mm-hmm. but I haven't taken that step yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think maybe one of these good days, it try Africa quite like maybe then we try to you know they try to listen to to the episodes and then we see maybe even a movie or something. Mm-hmm. Then if if I'm given a role to say okay, uh, Mr. Happiness Ambassador, since now one day, let's see how you can direct it to Elia Fe Elia Fe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's twice a time. Okay, so yeah. the other thing I'd like to find out from you, Happiness Ambassador, you've proven a point saying you can do this. People have been following your work, people love what you're doing. What next? Um, we're having a show. Mm-hmm. I think uh, somewhere in November, we're actually working on an album because people have been asking where they can download the episodes from. So the thing is, uh, what we're doing there was live. The episodes ain't recorded in the studio. So, we uh, want to record them, want to shoot videos for them, if possible, a movie. So, before we get to shoot videos for each and every episode, that's where Zambezi comes through. Then we'll see what they would advise. If it doesn't go through, we still have plan B. To say, uh, since shiny, we still have to push this work and it still has to go on. And then the other storylines that can come through, because this one, we only left actually with one episode. We then wind up this one. Then uh, life won't just be about the episodes. I think uh, we'll have, because there will be times maybe we we'll have a show. We can't just, you know, uh, perform episodes, episode one and two. If I come watch episode one, my child on a tough times never lasted. I need to tell one. So it's just more like uh, when the medical field and the music field itself. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's basically, you know, two areas and everything. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, yeah, because uh, last week, in fact, <laughs> Uh, episode uh, this the recent episode mm-hmm. uh, aired in the very week because when you are trained abroad, when you come back in the country, that's in the medical field. There is what you call H- HPCZ exams, health, pres- uh, health profession council Zambia exams. Mm-hmm. So they were on the eighth of October, and then we had this episode. I think should have been on it on the tenth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, Mr. PMC, and everyone listening, I won't lie to you. Yeah. After that exam, even airing episode. Um, 18. It was a challenge. Mm-hmm. Yari, come <laughs> <laughs> I can just ah, imagine. Because <laughs> it was that thing where I was yeah. still contemplating. Because after I came back in the country, I yeah. was just in the studio. And then I was like, no, I need to deal with this. I get the medical degree, the medical license. That's when, like, if I'm in the studio, I have that free mind to say, the medical field is settled. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's more like uh, you have to write the first week of every month. So mm-hmm. the first bunch was writing the first week of October. Mm-hmm. I remember making a decision on the 7th of October, and it's my only exam. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I think let me just go through. And then, you know where? What is the first question? You just answer with an idea. Second question, just answer with an idea. And then you're just going like that, and then... It was that thing where you're told to say you have to get 50 plus. There's theory and there's oral. You get 50 in both, 50 plus. Mm. And then if you don't do well, 
you have to come back in two months. Oh. And then if you don't do it in both papers, mm. you come back after four months. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. after, after that house announcement was passed and then the lady went like uh start. What could I talk about your own happiness ambassador? So yeah. yeah, but then uh a week later mm. we, we just had to deliver because I gave my word. We aired episode um 18 and yeah quite that i was just quiet i didn't announce yeah, quite that my exam and everything mm-hmm. then we called yeah quite that the other week the, the other thursday but there's something to that uh, we actually managed to clear both mm-hmm. areas like uh, you mm-hmm. know the theory and the oil mm-hmm. so it was that thing at least the medical field is settled mm-hmm. so at least uh, the plan was at least by january at least we can get to the hospital because mm-hmm. At Wambokia Hospital, you find that even the outbound that we plan on air maybe by late November mm-hmm. won't be possible. So for now, we're trying to push studio works knowing that at least the medical field not so over, so over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, so let's talk about the other uh, new direction that you have taken. Uh, away from the episode, <laughs> now it's time to get to drop music. And uh, again, very uh, positive music and uh, quite thank very you, interesting right you. there. Maybe you can tell us as well. Uh, the story and other stuff, uh, it's quite very different. Like, for example, Tough Times. What inspired you to write this song? Uh, tough Times, what inspired me uh, was the struggle one that mm-hmm. I went through in mm-hmm. med school. Uh, it was that thing where uh, even when someone asked you to say, I'm not going to be a I'm not graduate. It's just, yeah, by God's grace. I'm not going to be a graduate. I'm looking at the struggle because I remember there would be times like I had friends who had Unza. Yeah. You see, you, you know, you see them graduate and everything. And then you're like, hmm, my guy, but they graduate. Son. Mm-hmm. Then maybe he is struggling with pharmacology and everything. Then you're just like, ah, oh, a guy is managing, you know. And mm-hmm. But you haven't seen the light at the end of the tunnel, but you keep going. Yeah, quite at the end of the day, I'm just supposed to get through and there will be times where you're just you know in worry you're worrying like what happens next how am i going to handle this situation how am i going to handle this exam but at the end of the day we came out victorious and then uh, i realized each and every phase in life everyone wants to make it everyone wants you know to live that good life Mm -hmm. and then uh, it doesn't just come there's a, a process, there's that stage, you know, that you go through. Maybe we started as friends, you find that your friend does well better than you, maybe makes it earlier than you. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, the mm-hmm. next in line, next in line, mm-hmm. so it was more like, you know, there are people like Apsha, before that, you know, you would, you know, yeah, prayer for and everything, mm-hmm. asking to say, God, may let this come through. And, but once you ask the if you get your blessings, uh, so the inspiration was just, you know, basically the real life situation that we, that we go through. And yeah, so I thought, by this week, we're actually starting to work on the video. Mm-hmm. Tough times. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. The other thing, you are starting up in your music career, already you are selling your work. Yeah. Uh, Some people would wait <laughs> until they brand themselves. A quick one, a quick one. Maybe you can uh, answer because this is, has been a topic to a lot of artists that have been talking about this and asking a lot of questions saying, uh, what is making people not buy music? Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether they're upcoming, or they blow up. People are people at the end of the day. They will just ask. I'm asking for this song. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But you decide to say, okay. Uh, you even advertise saying, can you talk about those in, in regards? Yeah. Is it giving you an advantage or disadvantage at the end of the day uh i think uh, i realized this thing uh from episode one mm-hmm. to 18. uh these are episodes that have been airing for free and then you know there will be comments where uh, uh mom dad us we can even pay to watch and everything so uh we are trying to build a platform so we couldn't sell those episodes so mm-hmm. they were just coming and then we, we decided to grow a step further. We took them to YouTube. Mm-hmm. After we took them to YouTube, I think from episode 10, uh, you find that maybe the engagement dropped a bit. But then I was looking at the other picture. You know what mm-hmm. I mean to say? I think the audience on Facebook is growing slowly. We can't just stay on Facebook. We need to be growing each day by day. Mm-hmm. And then we aired uh, Tough Times Never Last. Mm-hmm. That was a song that was just given freely with the link and everything people could download. Mm-hmm. To tell one, up to now, only a few people, uh, but there were people after we announced to say, uh, because there are works that go into the productions of, you know, the music and everything. And as for now, mm-hmm. um, I just came in the country. I haven't really had opportunities to say, you know, we have a show here and you have a show here. So I'm looking at the end of the day, like uh, the sweat that I'm putting in, 
like how possible like i also wanted to evaluate because mm-hmm. i can't we can't just to say the happiness ambassador platform is at twenty thousand plus mm-hmm. and then we'll just be you know basing our progress on comments wanted to evaluate which among it uh, like among us the you know the platform are people willing to even maybe you know invest or you know uh, their resources into you know the works that we put out there yeah so we put the song at 10 kwacha yeah i remember i've got a brother yeah he's got a youtube channel he puts music he even said that was uh the very week that uh mr robert banda posted to say what makes you not buy music mm-hmm. in that very week uh, we had posted on the platform to say that to tell one a song is going for kwacha 10. Mm-hmm. so there were some comments saying uh, songs are too expensive uh, others go for 10 kwacha that's too expensive mm-hmm. but i'll be honest with you there were people who came through and bought that song for 50 kwacha mm-hmm. people were even paying five times for that song the to tell one a song up to now that's why uh, after i realized I, i've been having temptations of just putting up a free link mm-hmm. but then i realized to say ababa mbi aba where by people came through earlier mm-hmm. and they managed you know you have others were even paying 50 kwacha mm-hmm. for a song going for a 10 in, in, in summary in summary because i know i have to have an interview with trish uh, trisha right here uh, in, in in your summary in your summary with your story yeah, uh, yeah. so in summary it's uh, there will be songs that will be sword and there'll be songs that don't be sold but mm-hmm. for now we're just looking at the album which we have like the episodes and like uh, 10 singles yeah then uh, so for now on the singles releasing singles because the singles that will be airing will be part of the album that's coming maybe my late november mm-hmm. so yeah the album will be sold together so for now this is the song because we wanted to evaluate the growth of our platform mm-hmm. yeah yeah amazing so, yeah amazing 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 you mentioned about you being into politics and uh, I'm pretty sure you are aware about uh, the regist- uh, registering of, uh, you know, all night. Yeah, nani, 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 yeah. Nani, nani. <laughs> so we go as far as Selenge, we go as far as Selenge, Livingstone, Kalomo, Nakumbe, 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 So I want you to do something. Since you say you don't write, you just go live on your social media handle. And uh, I have this. <laughs> so can you be creative right now in two minutes and create something, anything to make sure that you give an awareness to the public out there? Oh, no, how important it is that they have to vote and their vote count. I don't know. In anything. If I'm going back. But in your information. Yeah, <laughs> I know it is, it is coming. Uh, yeah. But you can do something right now. Uh, yeah. uh, Show us yeah. something. Yeah. Mm. Anything. It's time to be a Friday bills in Indal. Green green text to Africa. He sees it in the shop. Online registration, yeah, online registration, you know. Bangu bangu in an inchaya, na linki one two in an injinga. One two inchaya upload fiance, one two fiance in an impuisha. Next year text ya fikoku. Come near rest, shine. Why why big of your quiet chat? So if there are people listening your quiet as far as the muscle ways, shine. I think is is it still on? The registration all, yeah. online yeah, yeah i think yeah you just register online i think we managed actually to go to the pattern back area but somewhere mm-hmm. yeah then uh, after that uh you get to your nearest that's where you collect your mm-hmm. thing so okay yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah <laughs> line yama politics that fun of so <laughs> we made you do that yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> that's some some untold story about you right there yeah uh happiness ambassador in your remix uh in a, uh, a minute Anything that you'd like to say to the public out there who've been supporting uh, your work? Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, thank you so much so, uh, for everyone who's uh, been supporting Happiness Ambassador since uh, Muma March. Thank you so much to everyone. Yeah, quite right. uh, those who've even taken a step further, subscribed on YouTube and everywhere. Grateful. Mm-hmm. On my side, I pledge. In the promise, yeah, quite yet, uh, whatever value, or even if we put something to say, fellow ambassadors, you project to Achaya, it will help us so much. It will be a project that if you get to listen to it, it will be worth the value that you're paying for that project. On my side, as long as you are quite yet, let's pick up off your map, people. Uh, so let's keep growing. Keep subscribing on YouTube, keep inviting friends everywhere, and yeah, yeah, So I'm hoping like one day we get to link up real soon, yeah, and finish off. Not We're looking forward to get to have you again just to get find out and uh, more details. Uh, that uh, event that you spoke about, 
so that we can get to find out about the album na fimbi na fimbi na project ya mbia ale isa to totera sana mkwai let me get to have a chat with uh, yeah. Trisha right here she has a song that we've been playing for a while instrumental right here with MOK Mike 2 in 5 minutes because I'm wrapping it up on uh, at uh, 20 hours right here tonight's edition uh, which is uh, the 27th of October 2020 